Ryan Reynolds is a billionaire, and it's not from acting. Let's take a look at this. Ryan Reynolds is now a billionaire, but it's not from acting. It's from this one thing that he calls fast advertising, and it's brilliant. He just sold Mint Mobile for $1.35 billion. Two years before, he sold Aviation Gen for $610 million. What he basically does is he bought a digital marketing company. And he said, for all the companies that I buy, you're going to take whatever's happening in the news, and you're going to immediately create ads surrounding it for my companies. So when that Peloton chick was in the ad where her husband bought her an exercise bike and everybody was freaking out, Within 48 hours, Ryan's company had casted, script, and shot an ad for his company drafting off this little story that was happening in the news. The secret to Ryan's success is that he took attention and fast execution and put them together to create billion dollar brands. He used acting as a financing vehicle to get him to invest in other things. Now, I don't know Ryan Reynolds personally, but these are moves that are indicative of somebody that makes money instead of blowing it. Instead of trying to show to be somebody that he's not, materialism, et cetera, et cetera, he used that acting money as a springboard to get him to be a billionaire, to, to invest in these brands today. So that's what you do with your money, savers and investors. And you, you create that one thing. And some, sometimes people think, I need to create multiple streams of income, multiple streams of income. Well, this guy dedicated himself to acting and making, movie in, making mo money in movies in Hollywood. But he used that money to reinvest that back into businesses, into ownership. He played as an actor to make the money, but he thought like an owner the whole time through. This man's driving around in 2014 Cadillac Escalade. 2014. Yeah. You don't you don't see the, you don't see this guy stunting on on social media with. In, actually, I actually follow I actually follow him on, on Instagram, and you rarely see him posting anything that's glamorous. You rarely see that. He's in a grind. He's in a grind. Yeah. He's mainly always, he's always consistently doing his. Uh, he's always on the set. On his stories, he's always with, with his family. He's always doing something that doesn't really show, oh, I made her money, even though we all know that he is. Uh, Jessica Alba, same thing too. Yeah. Became a billionaire because she invested, reinvested her money from, from entertainment into businesses. Uh, again, we're watching this movie with Patrick Bed David in a couple of days, Air. We're watching Air. Uh, a bunch of us, were renting out a movie theater. Patrick is hosting this thing. We're watching an Aaron unpacking the lessons learned in Air, which is the story of the Michael Jordan brand. Uh, at that time, Converse had over 50% market share. Every NBA player practically was wearing Converse. Uh, the other brand that people were wearing was Adidas because that was Run DMC. It's right to rock around to rock around. That's right on top. It's tricky. Come on, bro. And then the, the third one uh, it was Nike. I had like a 17% market share. Yeah. But first time ever in the history of sports marketing had an athlete had a shoe named after him. That's Air, Air Jordan. And the funny part, thing part about this movie, not to give too many spoilers, but the funny part about that was through a heated debate and argument with Michael Jordan's representation, his agent, his lawyer, and the guy at Nike. They're having an argument, having an argument, and an argument. The next thing you know, the guy uh, comes up with him. What are you going to call it, Air Jordan? <laughs> you write that down, right? Was, that was a good name. Now the shoe's Air Jordan. But Michael made his money primarily playing basketball. And he would tell, tell you in the last, da, last dance documentaries, nothing would matter unless he performed on the basketball court. Once he performed on the basketball court, all of these opportunities opened up. So find that one thing. Multiple streams of income happen after, after you create this Amazon river of opportunity. It's mastering a subject. Just like Ryan Reynolds here mastered movies and uh, creating relationships in Hollywood so he can reinvest that money. Congratulations to him. Um, let's look at this, uh, speaking of basketball, speaking of sports, let's look at, uh, this next video here on, uh, Giannis A5, we call him A5 because A5. his last name, how do you say his last name? Bro, I was watching the video right now <laughs> and I completely forgot. <laughs> anyway, we say A5 because there's five syllables in Giannis's last name, but, uh, he's shutting down a reporter about failure. Let's take a look at this. Do you view this season as a failure? Oh my God. You, you asked the same failure. question last year, Eric. Do you get a promotion every year on your job? No, right? So every year you work is a failure. No. Every year you work, you work towards something, towards a goal. It's not a failure. It's steps to success. Michael Jordan played 15 years, won six championships. The other nine years was a failure? That's what you're telling me. It's a wrong question. There's no failure in sports. You know, there's good days, bad days. Some days, some days you are able to uh, be successful, some days you're not. Some days it's your turn, some days it's not your turn. And that's what sports is about. You don't always win. We're going to come back next year. Try to be better, try to build good habits, try to uh, 
um, play better, not have a 10-day stretch with uh, playing bad basketball, you know, and hopefully we can win a championship. That's attitude, man. Steps to success, man. You know, oftentimes people think that uh, just because you have a setback, you have a bad day, a bad week, a bad month, that your endeavor is a failure. You've been failing and failing and failing over and over. Saying yes, you think it's a failure. Uh, speaking of Michael Jordan, uh, Jordan, can we take a look at uh, my screen here real quick? This is a poster. I've missed more than 9,000 shots in my career. I've lost almost 300 games. 26 times I've been entrusted to take the game winning shot and missed. I failed over and over and over again in my life, and that is why I succeed. I succeed. There was actually a commercial back in the day. Yeah. You know, he, he wrote this in a very, it's kind of like a very dramatic type of video, but this is it. You call his career a failure. You know, we, we always talk about doing one more, one more, one more, one more phone call, you know, one more appointment. You have a failure today? Uh, uh, one more meeting. Take, take one more call. Go, go one more hour. You book 25 appointments, only three or four is going to confirm and show up. Invest one more hour. Keep going at it. You know, what do you tell me in, 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 in the gym? Bro, let's work it out to fail. What do you call that? AMRAP? AMRAP. AMRAP. As many reps as possible. As many reps as possible. Reps as possible. Basically, it's forcing you to failure. To get past your certain threshold, that, that glass ceiling that we all have for ourselves. And, and your body grows because yeah. of? Yeah, because the tension that we're supposed to be putting on and the pressure. The tension and pressure. But obviously, it's a combination of other things. But I, I like this guy's attitude, man. You know, a lot of people, they, they, they can consider those type of situ situations as failures because they've never failed in, in anything in life. They've always been covered. They've always, they've, always, they've always been sheltered by either family or just the the path of life that they chose. But the people who've actually done something big or who are doing something, those are the people who are comfortable with the idea, with the idea of consistently failing forward. You know, there's a lot of people who fail and then they stop. And that's a complete failure versus failing, not being able to achieve what you're trying to achieve, but continually moving forward, even if it's at a slower pace. Yeah. I'm quoting this book again, Magic and Thinking Big. By the way, you guys got to read this book. Uh, he talked about two different guys in your brain. He, calls, he talked about Mr. Defeat and Mr. Triumph. Mr. Defeat is, if Mr. Defeat in your brain is given more work to do, he adds personnel and takes up more space in your mind. Eventually, he will take over the entire thought manufacturing division in your brain and virtually all thought will be of negative in nature the only wise thing to do is to fire mr defeat you don't need him you don't want him around telling you that you can't that you're not up to it you fail and so on mr defeat won't help you get to where you want to go so boot him up you're fired but mr triumph hire him 100 percent of the time when any thought enters your mind ask mr triumph to go work for you he'll show you how you can succeed and just like mr defeat He'll also recruit more people in that department. So if you're going out there, you say, Matt, you listen, uh, to save my money, to invest my money in this endeavor, to be an entrepreneur, to become a first-generation cash flow manager, I'm failing at, I'm failing at, I'm failing at. Okay, this is an opportunity for you not to quit. This is an opportunity for you to adjust. In the Marines, we talked about improvise, adapt, and overcome. This is your opportunity to get better. One guy left a, uh, a quote on my Instagram. said, Matt, if you've been doing at it, doing at it, I'm, I'm going to follow you, but if I keep failing, now what? Well, just because... You fail doesn't mean that's the end, end all be all. Adjust. If you keep heading your head against the wall, look up, look for another way. Either go through the wall, go up the wall, around the wall, under the wall, improvise, adapt, and overcome. So if you like that clip, please watch this one right here. If you want to see the full podcast, click right here.